Peoria Regional Championships is tomorrow. It is Friday around noon. So I'm gonna be leaving at around, I think like three or four-ish. I should get there around six or seven. I'm driving this time. We're not flying. We're not gonna have all that stress we did for Pittsburgh. So that's cool. I'm like barely packed. Basically, we have a new issue here. Peoria Originals is not updated on Pokestats. I'm working on the beta of it right now. But if you go to Pokestats Live, as you can see, there is no Peoria. The person working on the back end like deleted their Twitter. So I've been trying to replace all of his code within the past few weeks. I've been working hard on it. I meant to release a beta version of it today. And even then I was kind of shaky. Yeah, like hopefully I can get a hold of this guy and hopefully he can update Peoria. But worst case scenario is we have to push what we have to Pokestats Live right now. And yes, I am the one behind Pokestats Live. If anyone has used it before, I'm the one who coded it. But like, hopefully I don't have my computer at Peoria just like out between rounds trying to code. That'd be a nightmare. God, there's gonna be so many bugs. This is, go this is gonna be a mess. Also for the deck, I think we're still on the uh, we're still on the Chin Pao. I think I'm literally gonna play either my NAIC 60 or 59. I didn't love the Spiritomb when I played it, but I think there's gonna be a lot of colorless Lugia. Yeah, I got a regional to go to, but I got this Pokesats live. So many people hit it, like it's just crazy. Like I don't want to just not have Peoria on there, but like. 5,000 people are gonna go on and be like, where's the regional? I have finally learned how to join tables in SQL. It is so over. And hey, the good news is that we don't need to go to Operation Code Red. Peoria will be on Pokestats Live. So I did all the stress coding for nothing, which I'm kind of happy about. I think we'll miss check-in today, but it's all good. Okay, it is now around four. It's like a three hour drive to Peoria. So yeah, the Pokestats thing is fine. We don't need to nuke the whole site or anything. I feel very tired, but we got a long weekend ahead of us, so we can't afford to be tired. Let's go. Oh my God, I have to pee so bad. We're here though, after our three hour drive. Am I Marriott Hotel? This Marriott Hotel. Talk about an atmosphere. This is something else. Nothing like a little bit of a, a good Peoria scenery. I left my phone in my car. Oh my God. All right, we got our phone now. I don't know how I forgot my phone in the car. It's ridiculous. Well, oh, yeah. you're finally here, look. Wow. Deciding how much I want to respect Fusion Mew versus Half Mew. Playing one of these guys. Max is over here playing You, you can't mew me. You don't have any sucking. What? Matt, that turns off your Maridon. <laughs> Max, you can't use a Maridon. Oh! <laughs> Start sleep button. Max, improper game state, attach the energy. He's asleep, Max. Put him asleep! Oh Max. no! Put him oh asleep! No. <laughs> Maximum! Tell him what stadium you're playing. Oh, double okay. HQ, baby! Why, why is that? Why is uh, that because I'm terrified of Sable. That's like the only thing I respect. It's good against Maridon because then they have to attack with like th uh, three on the, the Raikou or four on the Maridon. That's kind of. Wait, I yeah. didn't think about that. Yeah, so it's good on Maridon. It's good. Uh, cheese for like uh, Radiant Charizard. That's good for that. True, true. Very uh, true. Of course, we'll announcing refinement. Ain't no guardy though. Ain't no guardy though. Ain't no guardy though. I'm gonna be going. Dude, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. 3 O three drop. Only for the player energy song. We'll see you back when you make top eight. O three drop into the. Hey, hey, listen here, Jared fans. O three drop. O three drop. Okay, we're gonna O three drop. Hint and then it. we're going to the bar, and then we're gonna play 2014 World. And then I'm gonna play Jolteon, Jolteon V Max, Flying Pikachu, Disconnect in the side event. <laughs> I'm gonna go 03 drop! <laughs> Wait, I have to put in each individual rare candy art. Which one's That's not how that works at all. Yes, it is. After this event, I'm about to have the 100% Peoria Regional Day 2 convert. <laughs> He was one, two, he came to me, he says, I'm dropping. And then I'm like, bro, just play one more. And he's like, okay. And then you won just like, <laughs> you won the next five. Yeah. You won, you beat three Q-Rams too. Yeah, because they're bad. I lost to it in day two because my opponent went Marnie and I shoved my hand in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. I wasn't paying attention. I was like looking through my discard pile. And then in my head, I'm like, there's like no card in format that does this. Why did I do that? <laughs> 
about to catch me in top eight. Uh, I'm going to be playing against a Grant Manley, and he's going to draw a pass because he's bad. Because he's asleep. <laughs> because of, because no, no, you're going you're gonna to play Grant Manley tomorrow, and he, you're going to go draw a pass, and then you're going to get donked. I'm going to go, this is for Jared. <laughs> draw a pass. <laughs> draw a pass. I am so tired. Coffee could not save me for this regional, unfortunately, so. I guess we'll just be tired. Round one should be up soon. Have like 20 minutes. Yeah, off to round one. All right, so we won round one. I played against Palki of Eastar. I thought the matchup was pretty favorable for me, uh, but it is really scary. If they go first or even just early game, they are able to either cross switch or clone and just cross switcher and kill my fridge backs or backs like as early as turn one or two. But I went first game one, just attacked and won. And then game two, he whiffed an attack, so I was just able to regain tempo there. Yeah, I felt a little bit weird with no Pidgeot, like not guaranteeing a card every single turn. I benched RCSV both games. Game one, my Barrel was prized, and game two, I just had the RCSV in my hand. Even though I had the Barrel in my hand, it like felt bad it was not a Bidoof. I was just like, if I ran 2-2, I'd be having my Barrel. But at the end of the day, he needed to play a bunch of Iridas, and the RCSV star won me the second game. I, he was just like, Cross Witcher, Cologne, I'll kill Manaphy, and Fridgebacks go down to two prizes, and I flipped over my V-Star for Superior Energy Retrieval and Boss. I think that's like the most powerful use case of the RC's V-Star. You're just able to get the Boss Superior Energy Retrieval, and with energies in your deck, you are able to hit for 360 with just a promote and a flip of your V-Star counter. So I definitely really like the Arceus, and I'm glad I'm playing it. From what I'm seeing, there's a lot of Guardi and Lost Box. There might even be some more chip powers here. So we will see and hopefully round two goes well for us as well. So round two was against Guard of War. Uh, game one, I heavy ball, I see two backscalibers fries. And so I'm like, not the biggest deal, but the conventional guardy line is to go Cresselia, right? Go Cresselia, you snipe the little guys. Maybe you'll get a boss later on. He got turn three, guardy boss, but he, he also only Mirage step for one Curlia. Hit like, trade twice and hit like maybe one arcana he got the boss guardy ex i theoretically had more energies in my hand i could have attached so like i should have played in my outs for sure so that was my bad i could have gotten a boss kill the following turn if i just would have attached like one energy to the chin pal but i think i had like all supporters i didn't want to superior away all the supporters right so i kept my hand I say, okay, the back Scalibur lives, I'm fine. He goes, boss, am I only backs? Now, at that point, I said something. Uh, I sound like a chin power up, I attach, I pass. I try to take one more prize, and I say, if it's not a back Scalibur, I'm scooping. It was a back Scalibur. So I actually had an out to win, but it got to a point where I was like doing the prize mapping in my head, and I couldn't do enough damage. Now, the issue is that the first game took 30 minutes, and then by then we had like 20 minutes for game two. He had nothing in his hand the entire game. He wasn't slow playing. He was just playing the deck, which is just slow. Game two ended like the minute that time was being called, and it's like, so I won the second game. The deck is just not designed to finish three games. So it's just like kind of annoying to play against when you lose game one. So I am 101 currently, which isn't horrible. Same thing happened at NAIC actually. I tied a Guardi during Swiss, <laughs> and then uh, could we could have finished game three. And then obviously at NAIC we still got there. So now I like I know when to scoop. Now I should have scooped earlier, like I was saying. But yeah, hopefully we can turn things around. I'm also just like I'm I'm fried. So it's it's we'll see how this goes going in round three. All right, so. <laughs> All right, so round number three has concluded. I hit Intel Urshi. I lost a coin flip. I think I have lost more than I've won today, which just sucks. So yeah, I had a pretty okay start and I ended up taking three prizes, followed by three prizes, which is really good. It means you can end the game in two attacking turns. And I think I was just too fast for him to handle. So the second game was a little bit weird. I didn't really have a good setup. I got out my one backs. I was still in the game. I still could have taken all my prizes. I had a back Scalibur. He put 40 damage on it from Inteleons. And then he plays boss on the back Scalibur. I say boss in Intel Urshi. So I just got bodied by boss. Game three. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, game three was the first game of the series. I got to go first. I had a pretty good setup. He retreats into Alakazam and passes. He doesn't have anything. So I 
have a really, I have very candy backs without, so I was having a great time. I was like, I could just donk this guy. He top decks a V for four steel for researches and a pretty good start. So I'm like, all right, we're gonna have a game. Um, but I was just too far ahead. I couldn't get boss on the two prize or three prize, which kind of makes my math a little bit weird because I like to go one, three, two, or one, two, three. Um, if I go one, one, I have to take two more knockouts. So it's a little bit unfortunate there, but I did take the one prize, Alakazam, and then just ended up closing out the game with a win. But yeah, so we are 2-0-1, I guess technically undefeated. We have a lunch break, which is weird. I'm 2-1-1. 2-1-1? One, one. One, one. I am 2-2. Two, two. All right, so for round number four, I played against Arvin Zard. Game one, I went second, which sucked, but um, fortunately for me, that deck sucks, so he didn't really do anything. Um, and then game two, uh, I went second again. Uh, I don't, just really good start both games. I checkmated him by RSC's V-Star for boss on the Manaphy. I got the loss that I didn't need to, but I killed the Manaphy and put three energies on the Greninja going on the two prizes. He had a lot of unevolved guys, and I'm like, you can kill the Chin Pao, I promote Greninja, you kill Greninja. I promote Chin Pao, and then I'll probably draw into the retrieval. So yeah, uh, we are 3-0-1 and just chilling. Hopefully we can win a few more. All right, we got the Malinar EX Chin Pao versus Chin, versus Chin Pao Gallade Memory Skip. Oh, is that what you're playing? Memory Skip? <laughs> I was going for the bluff. I, I play, worked! I played Thornton. It, the, actually, I told you, the, the right, Urshifu Inteleon player said he was playing around it. No way. Yeah. This guy's meta. This guy's meta. Look at him. All right, so we are 4 and one We beat a single strike Lugia. And that was one of the weirdest series against Lugia I've ever had. So normally Lugia is a very back and forth. It's whoever goes first wins because you go first, you take two prizes first, right? I don't run Kyogre, so I can't throw up a single prize and take two prizes. Game one, I go first, so I'm like, great, I win. And uh, no Chin Pao, no Chin Pao, no energy. So my turn to Irida was Chin Pao and uh, Nest Ball for Radiant Greninja. And so I was like, I'm on a disadvantage. I think I lose this. Kill his Tyranitar eventually. Come to find out he has one single strike for energy prize. So I was just playing my outs, of course. So he swung with Lugia uh, to, for like 200 with uh, DTEs. And uh, I'm just like, I top decked the SER. I could have drawn into it, I think. But yeah, that was game one. And then so I was like, all right, I'm definitely going to lose now, right? I'm going second. I'm just going to go to game three. So I throw the Chin Pao. I have four water energies in my hand. Uh, and I have a boss, I have a Luminion. So I'm like, I could Luminion for Irida for energy retrieval, or I could just boss a Tyranitar. Oh man, I can't Dude, No, you can be in the video. No, I don't want to be. <laughs> anyway, so he prized his second T-Tar and I won, so. Why did you cut? Why was there a uh, In my head, I'm imagining if there's a cut between the explanations. <laughs> so I'm like, why did you cut? <laughs> I'm keeping that in for sure. No, I forgot. You completely ruined my train of thought. It's okay. I won, so. All right, so a lot of you may have saw me in my last round. I was streamed against Piper. It just was not it, man. It was not it. I don't really know what to say other than I punted, like, multiple times. I was going for knockouts that I shouldn't have. I was going for board that I shouldn't have. I was, like, legitimately... My brain legitimately went black. I can't explain it. It's something about being on the stream. And, like, Piper has won multiple regionals. She's been on stream for forever, and it's like, it is so much pressure. I, like, I can't deal with it. Like, I, it's so bad. That matchup should be, like, favored for me. And maybe they wanted to put me on there to redeem myself. But again, it's Piper, three-time regional winner, and Jared, who's been on stream, like, once ever. Like, I was stream day two of NAIC. Really upset. Um, the upsetting part is that the lines I was going for worked at NAIC I got top 32 and what I did worked and what I did there did not work because she is on a different level so I'm 411 now let's try to get him round seven all right end of round number I lost track at this point this game is so crazy there are so many ups and downs it's so surreal anyways I played against the Chin Pao mirror I think I had lost a flip but i we still got there i had a really good start i think one of the games i had double battle pass and i pretty much just did everything i didn't want to see done to me and realized hey he's gonna run out of iridas eventually 
So I won game one, I went second game two again, and I won again. I think he just ran out of steam. Well, he didn't have any energies in the deck. He's like, I messed up. And I'm like, oh no. Yeah, he couldn't chain the knockouts. He also didn't have out uh, the Bibberol. I think he pokey stopped away a Bidoof, which ended up mattering a ton. So we're five one and one. I guess it's a win and in because I don't win an ID. I just win and I can play it out and lose and still be in. So I like this position a little better than Pittsburgh because I was X2 at Pittsburgh. I was like five and two and it was like, oh, I lost. And then I actually just got kicked out of the tournament. So it's kind of nice being X1-1 just because I'm allowed one extra loss next two rounds. I have to go one and one in the next two rounds. Come on, Jared, we can win one game out of two. Yeah, come on, we can do it. That's how I'm doing. I think regardless of how I do, um, I'm pretty proud of my performance. I'm doing a lot more consistently well at these events. I started 4-1 at Pittsburgh and now I started um, 501. I started 401. Yeah, we'll see how the next few rounds go. Oh my God, we actually got there. Let's go. We are going into round nine of Peoria Regional Championships. Six, one and one. So we're at the 19 that we need for day two. And doesn't matter what happens in my final round, win, lose or tie, I am in day two. Oh my god, I feel so. I was one point off at Pittsburgh and we actually got there. I played against Maridon and I won the flip, so obviously that is good. And uh, I, ju I had just really good hands. Got Bibberl out a lot. I Starbirth game three. I needed to get the RC side active and I could also grab escape rope. He kept trying to force the odd prize trade. Dude obviously knew his stuff. He was very, very good. The generators just, and the coin flip did not uh, seem to <laughs> like him during that match, but we did get there, which means I will be playing another six rounds of best of three tomorrow. And this has been a crazy day from me starting off not feeling it to getting bodied on stream and just like having a horrible time. This has been a roller coaster and um, I'm just really hoping that we can make something happen tomorrow. Not expecting too much again. We're just, we're all about the slow grind to 600. And as long as we can win like a lot of our games tomorrow, if we get a quick win game nine, that makes things a lot easier for us in terms of points. And who knows, we might even get top 16 or top eight and get a large chunk of the cash prizes. So a lot of amazing stuff to look forward to tomorrow. I need to actually, look at Pokestats and see what is in day two. Cause I have no idea this meta, this meta is crazy. Like, don't know what to expect. All I know is that people are playing Zard and I'm fine with that. So yeah, going off in around nine, I am playing it out even though I do have a headache. I think I ran out of protein bars. So kind of getting bodied by the uh, protein bar matchup, but you know, is what it is. So yeah, we're just gonna chill out, go in around nine, level head and just try to get that seven one in one going into day two, that'd be super, super strong, especially with this many people. All right, so round nine, I hit Judge Path and I got Judge Path. I won game one, he played Path and I bossed Genesect. I said pass, he said draw, pass. I said draw, pass. He said draw, pass. We draw pass for like five turns. I, f I get the stadium bump, Nest Ball, Drapion, boss. That Drapion had to have done thousands of damage. Like it was the only thing taking prizes because I had bad starts and he had path. So we're 6 2 one We're going to go 5 0 one to make like top eight. It should be easy. I mean, just hit five Zards, five Zards, ID. But yeah, so yeah, 6 2 one to close out the day. All right, so it is the morning of day two, the PRA Regional Championships. Feeling a lot more relaxed today. I guess I felt kind of burnt out yesterday from all the coding I did on Friday, but even though I played Pokemon all of yesterday, I'm actually kind of feeling okay. But yeah, it's around eight o'clock. Got my luggage here. We're just gonna go to the car and drop it off. So we don't have to do it later. But yeah, also there's like no Starbucks here and uh, that makes me sad. So another coffee-less day, unfortunately. We only packed the essentials for day two. We packed our deck our play mat in 2014 retro in case things go south. So yeah, day two is interesting. I've only competed in a couple. My first was in 2016. Uh, I day two Fort Wayne regionals. It was my first regional and I started seven and two. 
and um, I didn't win a single game day two. I was like, these guys are good. You know, once you get to day two, it's just a completely different. Since then, I haven't day two'd a regional. I've come up short every single time. Pittsburgh, one point. Went 5-2-2 two, two, twice last year. Went 5-4 twice last year. So, honestly, just happy to be here. Feel a lot more confident in these games, but today is gonna be a different level, and we're definitely gonna have to one it up. All right, so I guess we played spin the matchup roulette round 10 and we won we hit a charizard so game one uh, i went second but i i had i just had amazing starts i think we both played the battle pass every single game like all three games both of us started the battle pass i think i started ear in hand both times i went second it was i mean it was like it was beautiful i was like what better way to start off the day the game one went smooth uh i got a knockout on the zard he couldn't get another one he just scooped and then game two i had another amazing start he goes rope i signed up fridge backs he benches Delphox V, rare candy Zards, and goes, I'll kill both Fridgevacs. I say, I'll go to game three. <laughs> and so, game three was the first game I went first. Yeah, we got there, just, we just, again, had this amazing start. Uh, he had a dead hand. So we started Radzard, battle pass for two Charmander, and attached to the active and said, go. Uh, I said, Irida for rare candy backs. I had Arceus V-Star unlocked too. It was like, I didn't even have to use Starbirth. It just had it on the field. Yeah, I got the Moonlight Shuriken on the two Charmander. And then, yeah, game three ended super fast. So seven, two, and one going into round 11. We need to like essentially win out to top eight. Yeah, let's just, let's hope we keep winning the matchup roulette. We hit more Zards. There's a lot of them in day two, but there's also a lot of everything else. Hopefully we hit more Zards. So I definitely forgot to vlog for uh, the last round. Uh, so round 11, I hit what was I thought was a mirror match. Uh, and then she flipped over Vulpix. Uh, the alone Vulpix won her game one. And then game two, I won. Game three, I went second and I uh, didn't get there. And then the last game was reported in the Pokestats as Tinglu. Uh, and then he showed me a mulligan hand of Lugia's and I was like, <laughs> It's like, come on, dude. Game one, he didn't even get out like a V-Star. I kept bossing, I had such a good game. Game two, uh, I think I had a bad start. Didn't get out fridge backs. Game three, I had pretty much everything. I had to research away a hand of like four energies at the beginning of the game. So I was very conscious of that the entire game. Still had the concealed and everything like that. I prized Arceus V and Bidoof. Couldn't find Heavy Ball the entire game. And we got to a point where he was just the boss backs with passing with the back scour mini active. I realized very quickly that if I retreated and uh, was like, all right, I'll just kill the Archeops and then he kills my active. Like I wouldn't, I think I would have had enough if I like got boss for a prize or whatever, but I'm like, I wanted to go for the two prizes anyway. So there was a time when I irritated, I had two irritas in hand. I irritated for heavy ball for Arceus V. I bench Arceus V so that next turn I could irritate for ultra ball for Arceus V star. And then the turn after that, I could grab the boss and then the SCR in my deck and plus the two energies in my hand that would have had game even if he io would If I had the RCSV star on board, I would have been fine. After I bench RCSV and it went on to his turn, I was like, how much time is left in the round? And he said 20 seconds. So with 20 seconds left in the round, I'm like, I would not have gone for the RCS play. Now I only have two turns. He plays Collapse Stadium, chucks my, uh, I discard the RCS. I can't discard the Backscalibur because he can retreat into Tyrant or kill it. I can't kill, I can't discard the Chimpow because then he kills the Chimpow. I, like, I had to discard the Arceus. I eventually could steal cards into like Ultra Bowl and I want to throw up. So I'm like, I think I should have kept the Arceus around, especially because I could have irritated for the Ultra Bowl for the Arceus V Star. But it was, I was trying to play around everything and I couldn't quite get there. So I ended up tying, which just doesn't feel good when you just only need wins. But I got to go to my next round. I'm like 7 2 3, which sucks. So I'm 7 3 2, whatever. On the next round, I guess. See, it's really stupid. It blocks. Okay. Hi, I'm cute. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I played against Grabber Mew round, what round was that? Round who cares? I played against Grabber Mew. I go, uh, he go, I go set up and he goes judge path, Luxray, discard my, I don't know. I didn't do anything for a while. Drapion kind of almost salvaged me. Uh, and then he won, he, he won. And then game two, 
I had a garbage hand set up. I always get the worst hands against the worst matchup, so just to like stop me in further. Yeah, he, he eventually got like, he just played Judge Path me, he didn't even fang snipe. He, he like had threat killed the, the Drapion and I was, I just scooped and gave it to him because I was just like, he was going down to two and I was just like, I can't power up a Chin Pao and blow up the Mew and even if I did, you just need one power tap to win. I'm just like, I'll save both of our time. So I guess I am seven and it doesn't matter. So I'm going to, I guess, win the next game or two. Yeah, hopefully we can win a game. All right, so round number 14. I played against Maridon. It was a close best of three series. Game one, uh, he went second, hit double generator on the Maridon, retreat, or switch, attach into it. So he pretty much donked my Chin Pao. And game two, I uh, won. So game three was actually like, we were kind of like baiting each other into taking the first two prizes, uh, which was really funny. And uh, I, I almost had it. I played boss and then bibberled up into no retrievals, which is kind of crazy. RC's V-Star, I, I didn't hit a single loss box the whole tournament. And so the RC's V-Star just really, really not that good. So we'll definitely have to reconsider for any uh, future tournament, Sacramento and onward. And the Lost City also not doing a bunch as well. I'm 0-1-1 in the Guardy with Lost City. And so uh, might just play the Skaters Park back in and maybe maybe try to Pidgeot out again. I don't really know. I think that um, I think that I like my build though over the Pokestop version. I, I don't like the Hyrule uh, milling stuff. I like having a lot more control. So maybe we put back into Pidgeot and see how it goes. I'm just gonna test in the next week. Um, yeah, Max Max is nodding. Max is approving. I like the Pidgeot, man. You don't even have to think. You just get it out. I was thinking Mew. I was thinking Mew. As a free retreat pivot and draw until three, because I thought it was bad, and I see Maridon do it, and I'm like, I want that. Ain't think Grabber's gonna be a thing at Sacramento? No way. My, 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 my opponent playing Grabber was like, do not play this. Like, do not play this at Sacramento. Anyways, we got one more round. I think I'm top 256 anyways. We're gonna play it out. I'm just having fun. I just like playing Pokemon. It's just a lot of fun, so. But I'm, I'm playing optimally. I'm just hitting bad cards, I guess, I don't know. So yeah, I guess uh, oh, I on to round 15. Yo, shout out to Max for the good sleeves. This is not sponsored by Dragon Shield. Dragon Shield, please sponsor me. Oh yeah, baby. You got baby. the dual match, you got the base Arceus full picks. Go sweet. Yep. All right, so we ended the day out with a win, which is pretty cool. I guess we start with a win, end with a win. I hit my friend, don't know how that happens. He was on Guardy and I was oh one and one in the Guardy. Yeah, I just corrected all of my mistakes from my stream match with Piper and was able uh, just to get the win. Got lost on Manaphy instead of just going for Ralts and Curlia and just fix some other plays and uh, yeah, I think I went to game three. We went to time but I won on I think like, what, turn two or three of time. So, yeah, overall, I ended up 133rd out of 1,700 masters, so, so, so close to top 128, uh, but still significantly higher than what I did at Pittsburgh, and of course, I played an entire day two, which is awesome, and now I get to leave Peoria. So that is the real win of today. But yeah, super memorable. Uh, again, first day two regional since 2016, which is super awesome. And yeah, I'll be at Sacramento, so hopefully we can carry the momentum there. But yeah, had a lot of fun. Uh, just think overall kind of lost to uh, some unfortunate opening hands and just some really nasty mashups like Mew Path is kind of unwinnable. Uh, Maridon's really tough. He was running that path for me to get the outs, um, and I wasn't able to quite get there. Yeah, that about wraps it up for this time. Um, I should have a, probably I won't have the deck profile up. It's, I played my NAIC 59. I swapped two for Drapion. Should not have done that. Uh, that lost me two <laughs> rounds. Uh, path me was definitely the way to go, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it from this, and see y'all next time.